Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here. It is Sunday the 17th of February. Thanks again for watching weatherweb.net. Uh, as always, the sites get free of charge by you coming back and using this site. And when you do that, uh, it generates revenue when you click on an advert or when you use the charts. That's what generates revenue that keeps us free of charge. So thank you for doing that. Now, um, emphasis uh, as far as the forecast is concerned hasn't really changed much from yesterday because it looks as if uh, most of us are going to be in for a dry week, although there are some subtle changes. This is the pressure chart from today. High pressure pressure centred out here towards the east. We've got a south to southeast flow and that's bringing some good sunny spells through much of the country. As I go through the sequence you'll notice that the high just kind of hangs around into uh, tomorrow and through into Tuesday as well. Just a slight risk of some outbreaks of rain coming into the southern parts of Ireland, perhaps just clicking the uh, east, the uh, Ciliars on the far southwest of England, but generally you see high pressure is in control and that means sunshine. However, this is the chart for late on Wednesday afternoon. Watch this area of rain here towards the east as that moves westwards. In it comes, that's associated with a cold front and behind the cold front, is cloud and much colder conditions and that's exactly what's going on here. By the time we get through and towards Wednesday afternoon the front has moved its way westwards, it's brought increased cloud across many eastern and central parts of the country. Outbreaks of fairly light rain but rapidly turning to sleet and perhaps even some snow flurries affecting eastern areas. The cold weather then spreads to all areas through uh, Thursday and then I think what we'll find is probably these more western parts of the country enjoy the best of the sunshine through the day on Thursday with more eastern areas always staying cloudy. Some snow flurries across many central and eastern areas through Friday with a brisk east to northeast wind making it feel really cold through those areas and it looks as if that lasts into the coming weekend too. Now this one's an interesting chart. This is total rainfall up to um, midnight on uh, the 25th. So this is up to midnight on uh, next Monday and uh, you see how little rainfall there is here. Look, this is just uh, amazing something we haven't seen for a very long time. Look, It's just predicting these outbreaks, these snow flurries down the eastern coast. Look, There is the risk of an accumulation of snow uh, late Thursday into Friday across parts of East Anglia in the southeast. Only be a small amount, probably a centimetre or two at the very most, but the risk is still there. But you see elsewhere very little, just a trace of rainfall and nothing really for these more western parts of the country apart from southwestern parts of Ireland. It really is just from, I guess you'd say, from um, Yorkshire southwards just along these eastern counties through Lincolnshire, down Northamptonshire, down into probably as far west as Hampshire that uh, we are likely to see uh, any measurable rain. And as I say, just watch out for that snow risk in the far east but generally as you can see there conditions really aren't too bad. So uh, let's just pick up on where the ensemble goes with this. GFS ensemble probably has this about right I feel at the moment. This is um, the temperature trace from the ensemble. You see here this fall off in temperature look um, by the middle of next week goes into this cold spell here but then look it brings temperatures up as things become slightly more unsettled too from uh, around Tuesday of next week onwards. And if we just skip through the charts here, this is uh, these go forward in 12 hour steps. So this is the ensemble from midnight last night. If we just go forward, you'll notice the high out towards the east, low pressure out towards the west. And um, as we get into Friday, look, you see this cold pool here. That's the area that as it drifts westwards, increases the threat of snow flurries for East Anglia and the south east. Quite a brisk uh, northeasterly flow as well, you can see there, and then into next Sunday, high pressure is still with us, and into the beginning part of next week. But then watch what happens. Look, here's the ridge building back in again, just in here. Low pressure out towards the west, but then notice what the ensemble does. It wants to bring back in more of a southwesterly flow by the time we get through to the end of the month and into the early part of March, bringing rain to Ireland and western Scotland, very little further south. Now, what we have to bear in mind all the time with this is that this is the ensemble, the GFS ensemble. It always wants to bring this back into a cooler westerly. ECMWF, though, is showing some hints that by the 27th, 28th, we could see temperatures rising, although the south tending to stay drier according to, uh, to that model. So it's something to watch, but dry weather certainly seems to be um, in place now. Still in a very similar weather pattern to the one that we were, but dry weather certainly in place, which I know is going to be a relief for many of you. Um, at last the ground can get dried out. Need to watch some strong winds down in the south, perhaps uh, during the middle to the end part of this week with those east and northeasterlies, making it feel really cold, but really emphasis is on that dry weather. 
and it looks like that also taking us through to the early part of March so uh, good news so anyway thanks for watching once again remember we kept free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen and by you coming back and using the site by you doing that that keeps us free of charge and uh, it also means that I can say to you every day whatever you're doing keep the sunshine bye for now